Right, golf mates, welcome down to this video. Today we have the legend, which is OMP, Old Man Pat. Hello, golf mates. 50 years, it's been a Cat 1, that's a five handicap and below. Pat is 80 years old, so if you're new to the channel, 80 years old. He has been playing golf for 70 years, so what he <laughs> doesn't know is not worth knowing. Now, Pat, we've been having a chit chat about, yeah. there's a player on the channel called Mr. Barlow, he's off 13 handicap. Yeah. And we're going to do a video how to break 80. Correct. And we think Mr. Barlow can play break 80 if he did what you say. Yes. So you're going to play a few shots, but you're going to talk us through them, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Now, Pat doesn't hit a long ball, but he's quite straight. So some you've got to bear in mind that Pat is quite steady, but you're going to mention it on different ways and different yeah, yeah. clubs, aren't you? Yeah. So we are going to play a few holes, but really talk them through it. So this hole now where we're going to play is a par four, 435 yards. Now here's a good one. If you're coming from the States or America, you, you might have nice climates all the time. I know Australia is going to be good and New Zealand's going to be good, but Pat, in the winter now, it's a bit wet and damp. Yeah. It's colder. Is it harder for you to play to your handicap, which is 11, by the much way? Much harder, much harder. Even though the even, even though the course, is, the course is shorter, with the atmosphere, the ball goes nowhere. And you miss your run in the summer Exactly, time, and you? that little bit of run, like you say, that bit of run you get in the summer. No, as soon as the ball lands, that's as far as you go. So, are you 11 or have you gone to 12? I'm 12 now. So, OMP is 12 handicap at 80 yeah. year old. But, like I say, if you're new, just watch how he plays, listen. Yeah. There'll be some nuggets of gold here. And if, you, if there's any gold getting done, we'll pull up in the caption. So, I'm Liam, this is Pat. Come along, honestly, you'll learn something here. And if you've not broke 80 before, there'll be something from this video that will make you do that. Yeah. Guaranteed. Because Pat said so, not me. <laughs> now, this, this is a first hole. Okay. Stroke one, I think. Uh, stroke five. five. Stroke five. And But this one's fairly straight, so there's no... You can go in the middle of the tee. But like I said before, if you've got a fade, you go to that side. If you've got a draw, you go to that side. And what's, why, what's the reason, again? Because you're, if you've got a draw, you're playing out there for the draw. Right. If you've got a fade, you're playing out there for the fade. So it's just giving you a bit more yeah. room? Yeah. Right, I'm going to make this up now. This is a disclaimer. Pat has not been well. He's all full health now. He's going to go any second, but he's not had a swing for three weeks. He's not played golf. Ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying you've not had a good game of golf for three weeks, Pat. No. Look at that. Stop it, Pat. Stop it. So, okay. Pat is F, F. That is F for Frank and F for Frank. But it means fairway finder. <laughs> right, that's all right, Pat, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, most golfers are capable of doing that, and probably yeah. it's longer, wouldn't they? Oh, and Barlow would, Mr. Barlow would. OK, we're down to Pat's tee shot. Pat, in the fairway, as usual. Yeah. You give us some gold nuggets, sir, yeah. with the fade and the draw. Right. Now we've got 235 yeah. yards. Right. Now this Pin is, at front. This what? Pins at front. Yes. I know it means nothing. It means nothing from where I am. For breaking 80, yeah. we're on about golfers who can hit it, maybe, or two. In this weather, there's not many golfers going to hit it 230 no. off the deck. They're no. not. They're not. not. It's very not cold. But well, that's where they come unstuck. I know I can't get up in two. So I, I just knock the ball down as far as possible right. for my third shot. But some people, they think they can get on from here. They really swing the club. And that's when they lose control and they'll hike it in there, out of bounds, or they'll go in there. So are you saying now... Just knock the so ball down, don't... Well, you say, let's give us some yardages then. It's 230 yards. Yeah. So you're thinking then, it's stroke five, it's a very hard hole. Yeah. What would you recommend? What kind of distance? Just knock it down to about... 120 short of the green. Right, so they want to hit it about yeah. 150s. That's it. That's all you need is to it? do. Yeah, about 150, yeah. that'll do you, yeah. yeah. Oh, 160. Yeah. As far as you can, without putting too much effort into it. So you've got swing easy? Yes. All right, and what are you hitting there? I'm hitting the three wood, but that's right. only to get it down as far as possible. So for everyone's knowledge, Pat's three wood will go about 155 in these weather. Run, run, run. Perfect, Pat. You've just tickled one down there. Yeah. Now, if you notice, 
That was just whip, whip. You didn't try and... No. You I didn't try and hit that the hardest, no. did you? I tried it because I know I'm not going to get up. Just. Would you call it as a name, bunt, just bunting it down there? That's it. Just right. knock it down as far as possible without overdoing it. Right, because that was a very easy yeah. swing, that, yeah. sir. Right, Pat. Right, and that's, this is what I'm saying. I've gone even a bit further than, than I expected. Well, you've ran down yeah. the hill, which is good. But even with my best, as you can see, I'd have never got up to the green. Of course. So now it's just a little flick onto the green. And... Right, so when you say this, Pat, if you're new to the channel, he has a traffic light system, don't yes. you? So if it's a green on the traffic lights, that means attack the pin. Attack the if pin, yeah. If it's amber, middle of the green. Correct. And if it's red, you aim away from the danger. If the pin's danger. behind a bunker, you just aim left of the green. That's right, yeah. Right, but also give us that tip you were saying about, because it's something you've changed me about, haven't you? What's that? You say, yeah, no, I'd have like my 58 degree, oh, yeah. 56. Again, people would, you know, it's okay for low handicappers, like you even, but the higher handicappers, they, they say, oh, I only need a wedge here. And they can't use it, they, they'll thin it through the back of the green. You say thin it, but now in summer, I would say this, definitely in uh, summer, in winter, wet ground, like yeah. a 58, and yeah. I, I see, I was carrying it the weekend, and I see my player, because it was soft ground, yeah. actually duff his wedge, because it was soft, they don't bounce off saying. the ground, they just no, go they... in. So what are you playing this shot with? I'm playing with a 9-iron. Okay. That's and what would you recommend, a 9, 8 iron? Is this a chip and run or just... A... Well, no, just, it's, it's a bit farther. So you're doing it with a better sole yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. So basically, for this shot, he wants a better sole at the bottom. He doesn't want these specialist wedges with a little yeah. sole. That'll do. Well, a midget short part, but yeah. it is what it is, isn't it? But, like it's, but that's what I mean about when it, the ground's that soft, it's not running at all. No, because you took a big yeah. divot just with yeah. a chip and run there. But uh, I'm, saying I'm quite happy with that. It's, it's neat, Luke, you're close to putting yeah. and you're going for a five all day long. That's all I wanted, And yeah. if you get a six, you're not... Are you bothered? No, no. You're not bothered if it's six? I, I would be bothered because I, I, I played this hole for a five. Right, OK. Right, Pat, you've got your putter out. Yes. Can I stop you? Yes. I probably wouldn't put that. I'd use the eight iron you've yeah. told me, but yeah. before that I would have been using these lofted wedges. That's right. And this is where Pat did say on the buggy, well tell the golf mates what you're saying about other handicappers using the lofted well, wedges they, again. The higher handicappers, some of them would use a wedge. Now they'd either apple turnover, which is just a flop. Can I just say something? So I've just been caddying in Scotland and I've seen a professional, I won't name him, he had not far in, and he fatted the wedge because the ground were wet. Yeah, that's the same. This is what I'm saying, these wedges. That's what happens, yeah. So... See, see there's less error with a putter, or even, like I can say, an eight iron. Get you. Is that because of the bounce again? That's the what I'm bottom? saying, because you're going back too far with a wedge. But an eight iron, you're just giving it that, you know. Yeah. Or a putter. It's, it's quite common sense, really, all this part, isn't it? Well, hopefully. <laughs> I don't think we don't look Pat said so we're gonna give him that so that's a five. Yeah. So Pat, let's recap a midges. Yeah. You got a draw, tee off on the left hand side, fade, right hand side. Right hand side. Yeah. And then just plot your way down. That's all you got to do. But the biggest key is don't hit anything really hard, just swing easy. Swing really easy. Goes. Peter, that's the same, people are trying to and this is where Mr. Barlow comes unstuck most of the he time. He would have pulled his free wood yeah. out and it could have He'd gone have either way. It, like you've seen him on the third hole, he'll try and get up for two and he'll end up in those crossbones. So Mr. Barlow, if you're new to the channel, is a 13 handicapper. He is a good 13 handicapper, yes. but he does try and pull off silly He's shots. He's very good. At he, he would murder this if he just put some thought into it. Well, that'll be hard, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, golf mates, we've brought you to this par four again. Same again. Yeah. OMP cannot reach, but this is yeah. stroke... Three, isn't three, it? Stroke three, yes. So, but, like I said, we're going to go back for breaking 80. Common sense. So you can have a... Breaking 80, you can have 10 bogeys, can't you? Of course you can, yeah. So, I'm looking at it, Pat, and you have said it to me. So, on the marker over there, you need 180 yards. Yes. Yeah. And you'll always go past that. Yeah. Bunker's in play at 220, isn't it? It is. But... And also the trees, 
220. So Pat is saying no. If you can hit a three wood and a five wood, 180 yards or more, yeah. that is a shot here. That's it, yeah. Because you're not going to get up anyway because you'll see all the danger. Yeah. So Mr Barlow, we want him to break 80. If you were his caddy, what would you tell him to do? Well, I'd, I'd, I would say take a three wood. And aim at the bunker? Aim at the bunker and then take... A well, we'll come back to that. Yeah. We'll come back to that. But so straight away, you'll yeah. be telling him... I, I, it's a 200-yard shot. I have no danger of getting to that bunker. I'm OK. But the likes of you or Mr Barlow... No, but what you did say... This is a bit why sometimes yeah. I've got to talk. Pat did say 200 yards yes. left or right, yeah. you'll, you'll be over the trouble. But if you hit driver right, you'll yeah. not get the second shot over the trees. No, no, no. But with a three wood, you'll be further back or That's 200 it. yards. Give All right, Pat. Any preference of aiming, Pat? Uh, no, just straight down at that bunker, if possible. What a golf shot, Pat. The man is a living legend. Perfect, Pat. Yeah. So, Pat, that's perfect, that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And Mr because Barlow, like more, say... most other golfers have probably got a little bit more distance than you, haven't they? Well, so the three wood would be perfect. Yeah. Right, so as you can see, drone's gone over now. There's three bunkers are lying in the fairway there, Pat. Yeah. At 180. The green is 230. Ditch in front of the green again. That's right, yeah. So, you have it your drive there, about 180, would you say? 190, yeah. just past it. Yeah, about so, 180, yeah. That's your limit, so that's fine, yeah. but you're saying younger golfers have got more power. Of course, yeah. So they'll be in that zone here, so what you'll zone? always get over that ditch, like we said. But more important than what Pat said, if you've gone driver right and you're further up, you're blocked out for your yeah. second shot with your trees. Correct. And if you're straight, you can be in this bunker here. Yeah, so three, the 200 yard shot was the, was the number, yeah. whatever that may be. Now you're saying again, 160 again, Pat. About 160 again, down. To, just keep, try and keep it central. And why is that, Pat? Why not any longer? Because the, the bunkers are across there. Perfect. So I want to be short of the bunkers and then... OK, mate. That'll do you, pal. That'll do. Right. Position goodness. Yes, it's on the right side. For no, the we didn't say it, but... You always have a look at the pin, and it's our fault, but you do it naturally, and sometimes, yeah. obviously, I'm trying to get this information out of Pat. Yeah. You aim left side at fairway, yeah. then, to make it an easier... To make it an easier shot in. OK, so... Just wondering which is there. You've got 107, Pat. 107. And a 7-9 should do, then. I think so. Pat's going to be 7-9. So, Pat, traffic light system, what colour? Well, it's, it's green. You can go straight at it now. OK. So Pat's got a seven iron. I say it's not going far today. It's cold. Shot, mate. Sit down. Sit down. Great golf shot, mate. Great shot. It's gone too right, far. Pat. It's still a good shot, Pat. Yeah. Right, Pat. Great golf shot. Yeah. Uh, what can you say? I, I, listen, I don't know what to say here. Pat, tell us something about. Well, that's, all I'm saying is, if you just think your way around and put the ball, have a look at where the pin is, and make it as easy as possible. I'll give you the chance. Yeah. Because we've all not got as much skill as you, yeah. but you are thinking your way around. Exactly. That's I mean, just golf's not difficult if you just try and try and make it a bit easier for yourself. So yeah. So making it stress free. Yeah. But people people think, oh, well, I've put it because the ball's not straight down the middle. It's a bad shot. You've got to just remember where the flag is. Now, just that... You saying big, but I just thought it was a bit of topspin. Well, again, Not being funny, I again, think this is a see, great shot. You, you've seen it on the first hole. If you land just short of the green on the fairway, the ball stops dead. If you hit the green, they're not as soft as you think, so they, they do fly a bit. Right, so... I was surprised this... Hand on out, Pat. There's a lot of work to here yet. Well... I'm going to try and get down in two puts. But give us some... Tell me what line are you seeing, how do you see the line? Give us some information. Just just score the hole. Just uh, pick a line, like I said before. Pick, right, pick so people spot. have not watched. Let's yeah. explain it, Pat. Pick a spot. I so, just like, like, look at the hole and come all the way back. And I'm going to go... See that there? Yep. That 
that distance, that side of it. Right, so you're not looking at the hole now when you're putting. For, no. for you get your line, you're only looking at that? Yes. Right, um, okay, so there's your nugget. Over that spot there. So you've done half of the job. Yeah. Pace and your alignment, but you've done that's your alignment it. already. Well, that'll do, won't it? Hey, that might have got in with a bit of juice. There so we I can't go. leave that. Come here, chops. So, this has been seen before by the golf mates, but if you're new to this video, so for alignment, he goes back with his eyes, yeah. sees a line, but instead of aiming when he's over the ball at the hole, he sees something in front of him yeah. on the same line. So, I all you're focusing is about that there. That's it. To get the ball your, on the right line. Put, yeah. You've got to get it on the right line to start with. Pat, can we put you some tricky positions chipping? Yes. Because obviously with the eight iron and yeah. there's holes where you can't use the eight iron part. They can't. That's be. right. Oh no. Liam, we've got a bit of crump in here. <laughs> the back. I don't know. So you're going to do a good shot because there's a bit of crump in. <laughs> no. So there's your ball. Yeah. Show us how you play this shot. Club behind the ball. Yep. Back slow. Yep. And lift the ball. Are you? So you're not cooking, but are you? You know your right hand. Yeah. That looks like that's... Well, it is. That's in charge of the club, is yeah. that right? Yes, of course it is. So, I'm just <coughs> trying to get a mix. So is that, so are you, is your right hand like pushing the club yeah. to the ball, pushing it to Pull, the target? Pulls it back and shoves it through. Okay. That's all it does. You've knocked the ball away. <laughs> you, 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 it's you and the crumpet, right? So we'll give yeah. you a good lie. One's a good lie, Liam, because it's... Now, what club have you got? You got a 52, you 52, said. 52, you? yeah. Because you won't use a 60, but 56 yeah. or 52? Yeah, 52. Shot, mate. That could be beautiful, that. Oh, you'll take that all day, won't you? Yeah, because it's, it's got a bit more roll with a 52. Crump it. <laughs> <laughs> right, Pat, this is where I've learned so much and yeah. it's helped my game just instantly. And I'm seven handicapper who can yeah. play these shots. I thought so. So what is a no-no? If you want to break 80, what is a no-no here? Is not to take on these big wedges. So hey, the high lofted wedges? The big lofted wedges. People, they, they might get one or two, out, of, out of 12 shots, they might get two near the pen. But the most consistently, you'll do it better with an eight iron. And that's because one, there's you can't thin it. Exactly. And two, you can't apple turn over And the over thing it. is, if you do thin it, you're only, you're only swinging very easy. Right, I get you. So even so if you thin it, it's yeah. not too bad. No, there's another it's, nugget. It's, so what are you feeling for your eight iron here, Pat? What's the kind of landing area? What is a, about, a rule of thumb? About 20 yards on, it should get plenty of roll. So just over a quarter of the yeah, way, okay. give and take whatever type of green material well, one third of the way i would say one third yeah and that's a rule of thumb yeah obviously the greens are wet a bit yeah. more greens well, are softer. obviously yeah you got to work it according to the green so you can play to the, yeah. to the conditions in the summer in the summer when they're very hard you could just land them about six yards on it okay so yeah. you play with a yeah so a rule of thumb that's a bit too big More like it. Love it, Pat. Yeah. So let's be straight, Pat. Yeah. Your first shot, it's your first shot. Yeah. Too much on it. Yeah. But it's not exactly miles away from the pin, is oh, it? Oh no. And like I say, you've got to just try and guess the, the way the ball's going to roll. So after a hole or two, you're gonna have yeah. your rule of thumb, which your rule of thumb was a little bit too far. Yeah. And then obviously, and then I get, get as the, the holes go on, you find out the distance. You gauge the, 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 the distance then to drop it. I think it's brilliant, Pat. Oh, that'll do, mate. What I will say, Pat, should we play a short hole? Because obviously you can't lay up on all the holes. No, no. How would you play a short hole? Can we go and have a go? Yeah, of course we can. Come on, then. Right, yeah. Pat. Right. Now, we can't be laying up on this one, can we? No. But it is 265 yards. Yeah. The pin's at back. Pin, and it's on the right-hand side, so you want to be left. So you want to aim in the bunker? Yeah. Is aim that why that... you've come to the right? Yes. So what would you recommend if you're a sprayer? Is it worth it? Well, you tell us, actually. Well, or, if you're or, a... or is it driver? It's, it's, 
again, there's nothing wrong with playing an iron down there. It, it, it's it, always it, going to be easy. Yeah. So long as you can, you know, get it onto the second. So, like I said, your driver today with Ron, it's it's going 190, isn't it? That's all, yeah. Okay, so I think people's irons and rescues and stuff like that. Okay. Okay, so as you can see with the drone, it is wide open. It is, yeah. So left's good, right's terrible, isn't it? Terrible. It's not not the end of the earth, but you're better off with. But I suppose if you're right, further back, then yeah. you can get over the trees. Oh yeah. yeah. So we'll show the landing zone there on the drone footage and. Yeah. Over there towards that bunker on the left. Yeah. Driver's not the play if you want to get a par. Shot pop. That's so that's down the middle is so it should be okay. Shot mate. I can say again, I've hit this about 170. 180, 190, you're in the trees, but you still should be back far enough to get over them. But if you go bigger than 190, Big. you're going to you're, you're going to be too you're, close. Yeah, you're too close again. Yeah. So you're just playing. Sounds right. horrible, Pat. It's just so percentage. So That's if you do go is. left and right, you don't put a good swing on it. Yeah. You've still got a chance for a shot. Exactly. And you've not got yeah. to go under trees, curling it around trees. Well, that's it. So, Pat, what have you got in? I'm, I'm going to take an eight just to make sure. So, it's 105, but it's cold. What a golf shot this is. Oh, what a vicious bounce that yeah. was. Pat, eh? Right, Pat. Great shot. Yeah. You had a little bad bounce, but you'll still take that. Because oh, yeah. that's a red light all day long, that's isn't it? it? Yeah. I think you'd be happy with that, pal. I'm very happy with that, yes. Good shot, sir. Thank you. It's just put yourself where you hit a bad shot, you're not in trouble. Hopefully that makes sense. If you don't hit the shot where you want, straight down the middle, and you go left or right, you're still not blocked out or you're not really in the bad, heavy stuff or water. It's just thinking about golf. Well, like I say, Liam, this is a short par four, so really, you don't lay up on this. Yeah, so you, you take your drive and, and you, you go, go off the, the pin. Yeah, I get that, because it's a hole you want to be powering, isn't it? Exactly. But give yourself an opportunity. That's it. So you're on the green. We've had a bit of maintenance on here, because I've done it myself, so we don't care about your putt, but then we're going to have a chat. Well, who cares? That's a great putt. Right, Pat. Great putt, pa, perfect. Yeah. So you're free over gross, so you're not bothered, are you? No. At no. all? Not in the least. Because stroke five, yeah. stroke three, and a par. Yeah. Perfect. So, hope you've learned something. Thank you to Pa, hope you give him a like, especially with that eight iron part. It's a great, oh, yeah. it's a great, it, well, I'm going to call it a weapon, because I've been, and I've seen it on tour this week, caddying that eight iron. Yeah. I mean, I would have wished my man played it once, but all I'm going to say is that a is gold for me. It I've is, learnt it that. Is. But I more importantly, look. is your course management is unreal. Well, I just it, it works for me. That's all I. I, but I think say. it'll work for a lot of yeah. us, Pat. I That's really what I'm do. saying. I, I, people took it up. They, they would bring their handicap down. Because we know Mr. Barlow, 13 handicapper, can play decent golf, can he? Absolutely. But he is numb, isn't he? But it just it just takes too much on that. Shots and that's impossible, it takes on. Are you saying he's numb as well? <laughs> oh no, I wouldn't say that. Oh, I'm uh, sorry, I think he's numb. <laughs> or is he dumb? <laughs> dumb? Are you having dumb or numb? No, maybe a bit numb when it comes to different shots. But Anyway, so I've been Liam Harrison, this has been OMP. He's seen a bit of crumpet today, haven't you, Pat? No, loads of it today. <laughs> I've missed it, I've been away for three weeks. Yeah, so this is Pat's first time back in three weeks, so if you give him some love, comment below, what would you like to see Pat teach, is it? How to break 90, 100. Comment below, what would you like to see from Pat? So, Pat, thank you very much for your thank time, you sir. Thank you for inviting me. No problem. So, right. we'll uh, see you tomorrow, golf mates. Yeah. See you, golf mates. See you soon.